Makeup effects is usually, you know, prosthetics, wounds, uh, creatures, animals, key props, corpses, blood and guts. If, for instance, you hire me for a zombie movie, then we're taking care of, obviously, all the prosthetics to make zombies look like zombies, dentures, teeth, lenses, and then we're doing all the gore mechanical effects as well, like, you know, blood wounds, bites, arms being ripped off, that kind of stuff. That's traditional makeup effects. Talk to me about the whole CGI world, and is that taking jobs away from the, the shop? Uh, yeah, well, yeah, it's definitely had an effect on the makeup effects industry, I think, in the last 20 years. I think it's affecting all departments. Obviously, it affects makeup effects. I think it's affecting stunts. It affects Asian. set departments. You know, makeup effects guys have to realize the limitations of their work. There are certain things we can do very, very well, and certain things that just look lame, you know. I think it's important for CGI guys to learn about makeup effects and makeup effects guys to learn about CGI.